Hello everyone! Welcome to another Computercraft Lua tutorial. Today I've returned to the interactive prompt to teach you about variables. Variables are arguably the most important part of any program, because they are the part that stores the information that you use to control your program. To create a variable, you first need to declare it. First you need to decide the name of your variable. Preferably, the name would be something related to what you're using the variable for. For example, if I was trying to keep track of time, I would probably call my variable seconds or minutes. I'm just going to call this variable var. Now, if you leave it like this, the program will crash because it won't know what to do with it. Your program doesn't know what var is because you haven't defined it. It doesn't even know yet that this is supposed to be a variable. The computer will call it a nil value, which means that it's a value that represents literally nothing. Put an equal sign after the variable name. The program now knows that you're trying to define a variable, but the definition is still missing. Defining a variable means setting a specific variable to a specific value. There are various different types of values that a variable can be, such as a number. If I set var equal to 2, then the variable called var now represents the number 2. The number value can also be the result of a mathematical equation. If I set var equal to 2 plus 2, var will represent the number 4. You can use any of the operators in the PEMDAS rule. This is why I said you needed to know PEMDAS in lesson 0-1. You use the plus sign for addition, the minus sign for subtraction, the asterisk for multiplication, the slash, the forward slash for division, the caret symbol for exponents, and the open and close parentheses. These operators all follow the rules of PEMDAS. You can change the value of the variable to anything at any time, hence why it is called a variable. Right now, var equals 4, but you can change it to var equals 12. In addition, you can redefine a variable by performing an arithmetic operation on itself, but this requires the variable to have an initial definition first. Right now, var equals 12, but if I do var equals var plus 6, the variable has been redefined to be equal to the value of itself plus 6. In other words, var is now equal to 12 plus 6, which is 18. This rule also applies to operations done with other variables. Let's create a new variable called num, which will be equal to 2. Now you should create another variable called result, which will be equal to var divided by num. Var, which is equal to 18, gets divided by num, which is equal to 2, and the result which is 9, becomes the value of the newly created variable result. Up until now, I've only shown you one data type, the number. But there are 8 different data types in Lua. The number is a value that can be any number, positive or negative, with or without a decimal point. I won't be covering every single data type in this lesson, but I will cover the most important ones for this part of the tutorial, such as a boolean. A boolean can only be one of two values, true or false. This basically represents if something is true or not, a state is 1 or a 0, a switch is on or off, a response is yes or no, etc. A new variable, let's call it bool, can be equal to true or it can be equal to false. And that's it. This next data type is one that you've actually already seen in previous lessons, the string. The string is any kind of text that is contained within two quotation marks. I've explained a little bit about this before, but to go into more detail, a string can be defined with either single or double quotation marks, but you have to make sure they're the same type of mark at the start and end of the string. In a programming language like C++, a single quote would define a single character, which is its own data type in that language, and a double quote would define a string. But in Lua, they both define a string. Since these symbols are used to define strings, you'll probably find yourself wondering how to include these characters in a string. Well, if you use a double quote to define it, you can put a single quote in the string. If you use a single quote to define it, you can put a double quote in the string. If you want to include both, there are multiple ways to do so. One way is to concatenate two strings. Concatenation means combining two things into one string using two dots. I'll talk about the other ways to do it in future lessons, but this is not the only use case for concatenation. You can also combine two variables into one string, such as putting str together with the num variable we created earlier, and str2. This will create a string that contains those three variables 
exactly as they were in the order you concatenated them. By the way, I should have mentioned this earlier, but if you want the program to print or write the values of any variables you created, you just do the print or write function with the variable name, but without any quotation marks. You can also concatenate variables with constant strings and print them like so. You can also print booleans, but you can't concatenate them with other things. There's an extra step you need to accomplish this, but I'll save that for a future lesson. For now, I need to close this lesson soon, so I want to explain one more data type. Nil. Nil is equivalent to null in other programming languages, and it is a value that represents literally nothing, or the lack of a value. It can also represent false or zero. If a value is equal to nil, then that means no value exists for the program to evaluate, and the program won't be able to do anything with it. This can be used to check for the existence of a value or to manipulate information. There may be many other use cases you may find with a nil value. And you can set a variable equal to nil, but it would be the same as never declaring that variable to begin with. There's one last thing I want to cover. In some programming languages, when you create a variable, you need to declare what type of variable it will be. Like in C++, if you create an integer variable, that variable can only ever be an integer and nothing else. In Lua, you don't have that restriction because it is, a, it is a dynamically typed language. The reason you'd have to choose data types and variables is because different data types used a different amount of memory and RAM. But since all of the memory management is being handled by Minecraft and Computercraft and Java, you don't need to manage that in Lua and the data type of a variable changes dynamically when you change the value of a variable. Right now, var is a number. If you type this, then var becomes a string. And that is all I want to talk about in this video. If you have any questions about this lesson, feel free to ask in the comments section. Next week we will start learning how to control data and use the information stored in variables. I hope to see you then, and as always, thank you for watching.